hey guys what's up welcome to my youtube channel my name is Aries, and today i'm actually putting up a tutorial on how i made this fabric bag so this is actually in response to a subscriber that actually asked me well not just one person i'm sure if i think like, like two or three people that have asked me how to make ankara bags rather ankara structured bags because most times i work with synthetic leather so i still wanted something with ankara but this one it's our custom um, print um, fabric. This is actually our YouTube channel's um, first merch. I actually have other ideas coming up, but this is the first one. That's why we have our custom fabric. I actually have three patterns available. There is this one with the multicolors. There is a black background with just plain white um, patterns. And there is the dark brown with tan print so with time i'm going to be unveiling them one after the other but this is actually the first of many and i still stuck with the leather top and the leather handles because i mean it's going to be pretty if you use fabric for your handles but just know that it's going to get dirty really quickly so even though this is a black fabric with colored um, prints i still stuck with this so i know that and i even went ahead and even did the base with um leather you can use synthetic leather i do not have any smooth black leather so i just opted for goat skin or rather plain goat skin so it's pretty much the same way you would make an ankara bag there's no difference i just wanted to use the opportunity to unveil our first merch and i'm actually not selling it's expensive this one is kind of cheap it's just ten thousand naira for a maxi totes because i want it to be something that is kind of affordable so you can actually check this okay i'm going to yeah yeah i'm going to put i'm going to put it on our creator store so in case you want to buy our merch you can actually order for this the other colors are going to be made available very very soon and just for a little in depth you have to understand it's actually covered at the top the magnet is on the inside so when you carry your bag around you don't just have the top open because that's something i don't like and if you're a Lagosian, you would understand why it's very important for the top of your bag to be closed like this so nobody gets to dip their hand so if you do it like this and you carry it your bag is secured so i actually wanted to give out this first this particular one i'm to give it out to one of my subscribers as a giveaway but unfortunately a lot of people do not turn up for the party so i'm just going to extend it a little more and maybe by the time i post my next post i would announce the winner so it's very easy i'm going to put a link to the video you have to watch here you watch the video you comment aries merch and you follow me on instagram at aries atelier if you like this bag and you want this bag that is all you have to do shipping and everything inclusive so get clicking but if you want to watch the tutorial just stick around you can watch that first depending on what you're here for anywho um and today is my birthday before i just if I go quickly today is my birthday june 7th i am turning 30 i feel old but i just want to appreciate everyone that has sent me a message or a gift or something i've gotten two kicks already so thanks to you know who you are thank you guys so much i was told i should expect more so i'm waiting for the other people to actually send their stuff same but thank you so much for the love i really appreciate it thank you guys so much so don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to go with me on this my creative journey as a youtuber from leather crafts to business talk to vlogs the whole deal i'm going the whole nine yards you can subscribe to my channel to watch more videos if you want to learn how to make bags you can actually check this playlist and i could put up i don't know if it's going to be here or here but you can check out this playlist and i'm going to put my previous tutorial so you guys can watch it it's big it's beginner friendly and all and thank you for if you have already subscribed thank you so much if you haven't please subscribe tell me what you want put comments i love messages i love hearing from my subscribers okay thank you guys so much don't forget to like and subscribe now let's go back to the studio and do some sewing hey guys what's up so today i'm actually working with this custom printed fabric if you want to print your fabric you can let me know i could maybe share the link of the vendor so for the interface as per usual i am using my foam 
um it's actually called some people call it macro but it's basically foam i'm using two pieces for the back and front for the base i am okay <laughs> for the base i'm using it's actually called fiber board but i call it carry board i'm using two chip boards basically like cardboard paper for the sides and here are the dimensions the sides that are showing black are made with leather then the fabric is fabric for hardware i have the magnets i have two magnets and i'm using four bag bottom studs so here i'm actually working with my assistant so she's going to do most of the stuff i had to go take care of other things so she has been in training with me and she gets to do the simpler jobs until my attention is needed so first we are going to cut the two pieces that we're going to wrap we are going to leave a little allowance it's always advisable to leave at least one centimeter around whatever fabric you are using same thing goes for ankara same thing goes for ashoke basically anything you're working with and this one you're not putting a gum on your two pieces if not it may soak through especially this one that is actually cotton so you put your gum on the interface you are using in this case we are using this um, foam material and you just sort of smooth you smooth it into your fabric and because fabric is absorbent it will actually soak in a little bit of the gum so just um, just make sure your gum is not too wet Make sure it's still kind of sticky but not gooey enough to soak through your fabric so we're doing the standard wrapping here we're just doing the material the fabric sides first which is the two sides then the back and the front piece so it's the same thing we just take our material and wrap it so for the base that is where things start to change i'm going to put a link to the other bag i made that was very 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 similar to this and we're using that same pattern where the base is separate then the front and the back are both separate so here i'm just going to put in some gum but you're not wrapping the whole thing you're just folding the two long sides then you take that long piece and you gum it to the lower side of your front and back piece by this point you haven't folded the whole thing in you have to first join everything before um folding everything into one shape so I already sewed it off camera. I don't know why I've skipped this. I sewed it off camera. I think just to save time. So here I'm doing the flap. Remember the measurement. I just cut that exact piece. And the spacing is three centimeter, both top and side. So I've just took a piece of leather and I just um, used the lining fabric on the back. And I'm just going to take that and sew that all around. And because of the way I want to place the magnets, that is why I am being very careful with the size of lining. So I have to rule out the exact shape that I want and I separate this first. So this way it's easy to fix my magnets afterwards. But for this one, I don't have to draw out the lining. I can just cut a piece that is a little bigger before I gum it to the back. So this is where the changes come from. I think that's why I just rushed the beginning part because it's feeling redundant at this point that I'm just repeating tutorials over and over. Okay, I this is not entirely compulsory. You can still gum this as fabric, but because this um, faux suede that I'm using is kind of thick, the gum would not soak through. But do not do this with Ankara. It will just soak through the thing and you're going to have gum showing on the other side. So we're just going to rub this in before we take it for sewing and for the handle i just took a piece of leather 50 centimeter and i folded it into two then i just sewed it it's real leather so it's pretty thick but if you're using synthetic please don't forget to put something inside to make it thick so i just the same way i marked my holes for the magnets um, I just sort of aligned the flap with the lining and that is how I was able to fix the magnet here So it's all trial and error before I actually attach it to the main piece itself And the way I'm touching this is also different. So please pay attention So we're starting from the side where the flap is going to come out from before we even gum So I'm just going to rule out a line and I'm just sort of going to stack everything on each other but don't forget to put the lining right side up because you're going to fold it down afterwards. But you have to take all the time and be very, very careful with this. 
it's very easy but if it's not straight it's going to show afterwards so you see the way it's all laid out here and that is when you will now go and fold it backwards so this way you don't use the lazy man method that i use them um, in my earlier bags where i just sort of gum it and trim it out this one your your work is actually sewn in tight so after doing that side then we'll come back then apply the gum all over before smoothing it out smoothing in our lining then this one you can just go i think for the spacing it was eight and a half centimeter from either side i'm going to put that in the subtitle later on before i just gummed in the handles before taking it for sewing so they don't shift while you work so we're just going to clip this in before we take it back to the sewing machine to sew so basically the truth about craft is you learn as you go you evolve your methods you have finish your finishing and everything has to be it has to be getting better so here instead of sewing it flat if you notice if you look closely i folded it in and i'm literally sewing it like the way you would sew you sew in i don't know people that make clothes may be able to relate to this but this way you don't have the loose end of your lining just sticking out you fold it in as you sew this one is a neater and it's a more secure way so you don't have the end fraying and the thread coming out so i'm just going to do that for this side too kind of creating a simulation for the way i did the other flap side okay so for the person that asked me about um how i measure in the ends of this i actually i always use two centimeter because that seems to be the right um depth for the gussets so and i use my l ruler every time to be sure about it so i think yeah i also indicated that in my dimension page so you're just going to go and i always cut after i don't cut before i think it's just me playing safe some people cut before they do this notching as they go but i do it when i've done everything so i'm just going to go in on all the sides i'm just going to trim in like half a centimeter which is five millimeter so that when you sew it you don't have like a material sticking out of the end your lining rather sticking out of the end of your stitching so at this point everything starts to get familiar again i'm going to do the same thing for the main piece itself just going to trim out half a centimeter before we just clip it and the closing is the same type of closing if you don't have these clips you can always gum it before but i always like to clip it's less messy it's easy to adjust and the gum is just yeesh so the last thing we'll take it to our cylinder bed um sewing machine if you want to know more about sewing machines click this link and you can see the three types of sewing machines that are available especially in the african countries so like just like me i also struggle with this i thought i was the only one but someone commented that they struggle with sewing this deep end so i'm not alone <laughs> so i always use my yellow plier i try not to stick my fingers in if i have to adjust as i sew so i have more control over what i'm making and that is pretty much it it's very simple the only change was just how i did the handles and the flap if you want to watch my other um, letter craft videos you can also always click this link in the top of the screen thank you don't forget to like and subscribe and i would love to see you guys more active on my channel and i'd love to hear from you guys thank you guys i'll see you guys in my next posts